What's up everybody, it's CMP with Craftmaster Productions and Studio1Tutorials.com. Don't forget to stop by Studio1Tutorials, pick up your premium membership, it's 50 cents a day. And also, please don't forget to stop by CMPKits.com. Get yourself some MIDI, get yourself Asha Cole's new sample pack, Rikami. It is awesome. 10 amazing compositions, stems included. Um, right now, I want to show you guys something that will really help you out with your MPC workflow, especially using it inside Studio One, right? So this is my um, MPC, uh, my MPC mix template. Um, and what I have is I've got a couple buses set up, my drum bus for my drum tracks, my band bus for my instrument tracks. And then on the template, I have the MPC loaded up. Uh, right away. So all I have to do is when I open up a project, I just um, I just go into here, load the most recent thing that I was that I was making on my MPC, either in standalone world or um, using <clears throat> using the MPC uh, DAW software. Right. Then um, what I have here is uh, on the instruments when I go to when I click expand. I, I go ahead and I click and I have this already on deck, right? So I've got, um, you know, output three, four, uh, uh, one through 18 already engaged. Um, and the purpose behind that is the new um, transform feature inside Studio One 5.2 allows you to take uh, multi -tim multi output instruments and just with with one command, go ahead and bounce all their outputs. So if you take a look, uh, what I have set up on, um, on my, on my channels right here is you notice my outputs, uh, for every single track, I have a different set of outputs, right? And that's basically telling studio one, Hey, um, you know, when we, when we go ahead and we transform this to audio, I want you to be able to, uh, go ahead and take all these out, right? So once you know, you know, once I'm I'm ready to actually bounce the session out, it's super easy, right? Just go like this. See how easy the template is to work. And I'm just gonna go ahead and click render all channels. All right, so now now that I got the whole beat out, um, let's see, this looks like, what do we got here? This looks like an instrument track. We're gonna put this up here. This is an instrument track. This is an instrument track. This is drums, right? So these are going this bus. These are going this bus. Now I can, you know, easily do easily do my color coordination so it makes sense to my eyes. When I'm looking when I'm looking at the screen, I know what's what. And on top of that, <clears throat> because I've got because I've got my template already set up. You know, I, I've got my like, I've got my little like Jason Joshua drum bus hack over here. I've got my, you know, I've got like my culture vulture uh, distortion send for my 808 already plugged in. I've got all my, I've got all my different sends that I could already use. Right. And then not only that, I've got my master bus on deck ready to go. So <clears throat> we could take, you know, once you get used to gain staging and everything inside your NPC, you wind up with something like this. Turn this off.
good balance real quick, then all you got to do is go ahead and add in your mastering template. distortion on my 808 and bring this bring this send in too much distortion but you can see like real quick in a matter of in a matter of five or six minutes I can get a good balance I can get a you know, an industry standard, you know, RMS um, setting for for a final bounce out. I'm doing I'm doing complex processes like these uh, um, like these two sends that are that are doing parallel processing on my drum bus. They're doing parallel processing on my um, on my 808, um, and it's just it's just really really simple and straightforward to to get <clears throat> to get a good mix done with a proper template on top of that um being able to bounce this out like this it's really easy to get a decent arrangement especially the way that i have my arrangement blocks set up so i can just go here right we got these out of here we'll take this out of here for this one this one will go here um what else do we got And that's and that's a mix that's a fully mixed and mastered beat done quick and easy so it's kind of like why you know in closing that's kind of like why i like to split the two processes up because making this beat inside the mpc super fast not distracted i'm not thinking about mixing i'm not thinking about eqing i'm not thinking about you know the levels or anything i'm just i'm just trying to get my rhythms right my samples right and then i could come into my template <clears throat> And half of the mix is already done. Once I get the balance done, the mix bus compression is already, you know, set up and ready to go. I just got to make a couple tweaks right there. I've got the parallel processes already, you know, already in place for like more sophisticated mixing. Um, you know, if I if I need to put more harmonics on my 808, I'm not thinking about it. I'm using the culture vulture. Um, and then any any of the effects I want to use, I've got the Lexicon on deck, I got the Pure Plate on deck, I got Sound Toys on deck, I got Valhalla on deck, and we're ready to go. Um, and just these little processes that you're going to do with every single beat, they're going to get annoying. It's going to make mixing feel like it's a chore. This a workflow like this is going to take all of that away. So the main thing to remember is, you know, whatever DAW that you're using to to make this. Well, this is for Studio One, but for Studio One is you want to make sure that when you make your template, you want to have the MPC set up and you want to expand those outputs and make sure that they're all um, clicked in so that they're shown in the mixer. That way, when you go to transform the audio, it'll give you the option to render all tracks and then that'll give you 
this um this workflow right here. So this is CMP with Craftmaster Productions, studio12tutorials.com, cmpkits.com. You guys keep it simple, but don't be basic. And we'll see you on the next one.